Hi everyone, Miss here. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, of course, Mum's just been uh, with some Amazon parcels for me. Um, I've got three lots, so I'm really excited. I believe that these are all the ones that I ordered on my birthday. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I did uh, treat myself to some uh, birthday canvases. And then I just happened to be browsing during the day on my birthday and bought some more. <laughs> into these and have a look and see what we've got um, come all on one delivery but all in separate packages oh dear uh, so what shall we have a look at first shall we have a we'll have a look at the one in the bag first okay i'm not sure which one this is so let me just get a pair of scissors and we'll get into this package so i hope everybody's doing okay as you can see this house is getting uh, absolutely chocker with diamond paintings at the moment, but I am doing an awful lot, so... Oh, yes, I remember this one. I ordered it Amazon Prime, um, so it only took a couple of days. Sometimes they come next day, it depends on the manufacturer um, as to whether they're in stock or they come from the manufacturer. Uh, and I got this half price, so this would normally have been £10.99 and I got it for £5.49 with, of course, a Vipon coupon. <laughs> okay, um, and this is sold by Bug and Bum, B-U-G and B-O-M. So that's a different uh, company and it's a similar thing to the ones I got for my birthday. Well, the painting style is, but the actual picture on the diamond paintings, um, well, I think you'll see when you see them. They're very, very cute. So, they've come in three separate bags, there's three separate pictures. So, let's have a look at this one first. Uh, a 5D shiny diamond painting makes your life more enjoyable. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think uh, diamond painting is my happy place. Put it out of this little plastic bag and have a look at this one. Okay, and these are pictures that you can use all together or all separately. And look at that. That little unicorn face. I have seen this around quite a bit. Um, it's a special diamond painting. And it says it's a 30 by 40. I would think we'll lose quite a bit uh, for the edges, but we will have a measure. And we've got 14 different gems, which, ooh, look really exciting. There's all sorts of different shapes and things in there. So we'll have a look at those. So this one is uh, ooh, 25, which is just under 10 inches. 25 centimetres, which is just under 10 inches by yeah about 25 which is about 13 and a half so yeah you're losing sort of five centimeters or so for the edges but yeah i've seen this one on your boxes as well that you can get to diamond paint but i do like that that's really pretty so let's have a look at these drills as i say the three pictures that i've got do all go together or you can use them separately and yeah, we've just got a basic toolkit, you wax your blot and your pen there, enough to do this picture. And let's just get into these and see what we've got. They always make these so hard for me. Well, I suppose hard for everybody else as well, but <laughs> I've just seen them ever. Okay, so let's pop that in the bin. So what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? So we've got 14 colours. So we've got, ooh, look at those pinks. And we've got, ooh, is it a hot pink? Three different shades of pink there. And we've got a green and a standard black there. And a nice goldy colour. Oh, look at those. That's like a, a red, oops, sorry, a red AB. My camera's moved. It started off over here and it's gradually moving that way. Um, I'll be down the stairs if I carry on filming, honey. <laughs> Uh, some very sparkly gold. Ah, oh, some little stars, lots of stars. Oh, some love hearts. Oh, we like love hearts. Some pink love hearts. Yay, pink love hearts. 
some like half sphere just um plain gold there <gasps> some more stars and then some they're not faceted they're just uh, like a, a curved um, teardrop there in the blue. So they're going to go all the way around this, I think, yeah. So not only are you diamond painting in the middle, but all these little shapes around the edge have all got the little key code on them, the little keys on them. And all the bits around the edge are going to be painted as well. I was going to say lovely for a little girl's bedroom, but I'd quite like this in my bedroom as well. <laughs> so that's the first one. Put that one to one side so let's have number two i think we can see uh, what this one's going to be as well along the same theme okay so let's get into this one very pretty again i like the way that the bags are uh, personalized as it were with your little motto on there shiny diamond painting oh like that okay and then this one, oh look, this is the dinosaur, look, the dinosaur, Liz, what are you thinking? This is the unicorn, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> dinosaur, green barley. So again, just your basic tool kit, the same as the other one. And this one has 15 different shapes and colours. And again, it looks like we're all... I'm um, going to be around the edges. It is a special shape and these are what they call special uh, diamond painting partials. So none of the background is diamond painted, none of that is sticky. But the little bits where you put like the hearts and the stars has got a stick on and then all the unicorn has stick on. Does it say a horn have? Oh yes, so I've, I would think that's what all the little gold ones go to. Let me just have a look. Um, oh, can't quite read that. That's very, very blurry for me. I will have to put my glasses on, but yeah, I think that is going to be the gold one there. It's going to have a gold unicorn form. These are already trying to escape. Look, it's already half open. So that's good. Oh, these are loose. I'm going to have to put these in bags. So we've got all the little gold one. That's number 10, which is that one. I think that is probably that, but I would have to check when I do it. Watch out for my uh, review when I've completed these. Um, Mindy's Diamond Moments and Mysteria Diamonds are doing a smash in the specials from the 1st of August. Right, okay, sorry about that. My hubby's friends have been here and they're just, just going. So, all right, so we've got a plain uh, silver, got a pink and another pink, not quite a hot pink, but a very good pink. Uh, green and turquoise and your standard black and your goldy colour and oh look at those they're a real sparkly uh, white AB there and a red AB wow 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 and um, ABs are Aurora Borealis which is basically like an iridescent coating that they put on top of the uh, standard gems and it just makes them sparkle more it's like an oil on water kind of effect a, a northern lights kind of effect um, and it just makes everything sparkle and then we have a couple of red uh, marquees there some gold stars some silver stars and then white and pink hearts wow oh, these are lovely i'm really impressed with these yeah, I will be uh, getting on doing these as soon as possible. What I'm going to do is actually label these up now while I think about it. Let me just grab a pen. Oh, I just have a pen. What did I do with it? There it is. Okay, so what shall we call? Oh, right. We're gonna. I'm gonna put the um, canvas number on. So that Y O O three. Y O O three. And what I'm doing with this is putting um, the label on the canvas and then I'm going to put the gems into a bag and it just means that I can keep the gems separate, keep the uh, canvas flat because these do need flattening, they've got a little bit creased as it were and um, this one looks exactly the same size so I'm not going to measure you, you can see that you've got the size but I will put the 30 by 40 on this one and the cost oh gosh what did i say it cost me 
well, it was five pound forty nine, so I'll put five forty nine. Anyway, and what was the shop again? It was Bug and Bum. Bug and Bum. Oops. And then the next one is Y O O five. And we're doing thirty by forty. Might as well do this one while I've got it. Book and bum. And it's oops, put square there, looks special. Book and bum. Just keeps me organised. I'm getting organised, what can I say? So then this last one is gonna be oh look, why oh four. Might as well do that one at the same time as well. And I might actually keep these all in the same packet, but I'll keep the diamonds separate. I'll show you what I mean. Bomb. So I'll probably do these pictures more or less at the same time, or you can do them um, at a separate time if you want to. In fact, as I say, you could give them as presents to three separate people. Uh, it really wouldn't make any difference. Okay. Carry on with this. So let me get some bags. Okay, so we'll put them all into a big bag, but we'll use small bags for each separate one so that we know which ones go with which. Do they have them? Yeah, they do actually have um, the number on the gems. Um, but that one doesn't have the number on it, so I will write that on there as well. Eight, four, five. So just in case, um, I have muddled gems up in the past, or I've well, I say I've muddled them up. <laughs> I've had them where um, I've been sat there looking at a packet of gems, thinking, what do these belong to? Which ones are these? Now I've got everything labelled, that's that one, that's number three, and we'll put that on the front there, so that's number three, and I'll seal these in so they're not escaping, and then I'll put them into the bigger bag, so these are all um, actual cellophane bags that I use when I was doing my card making, I used to uh, put everything into a cellophane bag, uh, well, everything, all my cards into a cellophane bag, and then that way, um, if anybody was you know, picking them up, looking at them, um, they weren't getting dirty and it just stopped them um, getting grubby and uh, kept them looking nice. It just looked a bit more professional when I had them on a stand if I was doing a craft fair. You know, you've got them in a nice cellophane bag like the uh, stores do rather than just having it sat there. Um, and particularly in windy weather, they can blow over if you're outside on the store. So that's number two. I'm going to put that one in there as well. Okay, let's move those across. We should put the pen. So we've just got the last one to look at now then. And this one looks like it has a nice rainbow on it. But all the same colour palette, the same colours. Very, very pretty. Again, the bag has the same uh, logo on it there, same legend there. Okay. And, oh, wow. Okay, so this one is like a dancing unicorn underneath the rainbow. And again, we've got all your shapes going around the edges, which will be diamond painted. Uh, basic toolkit again, so enough to get you started. And this one only has 13 different colours. So we've got a 13, a 14 and a 15 in colours. Now where's the end on this one? There it is. And let's get into this one. Okay. Look at those crinkly packets. So, and I'm pleased that says number nine with the line underneath. And I'm just going to write on this packet why zero zero four so we know what that one is so they're little like gold faceted marquees very very tiny 
very tiny. But all the special gems and the uh, ABs and this is it's just wonderful. So we start off with a nice uh, silver and then your pinks there. That is practically a hot pink, hot pink. And a greeny colour. Oh, look at that beautiful aqua colour there. And the sanded black. And oh, your lovely sparkly white are these there. There's little like gold ones. They're really, really pretty. And some little blue marquees. And gold stars and silver stars. And then this one just has pink hearts. It doesn't have the white hearts as well. But that is lovely. Oh, price that I've paid for these. There's uh, three lovely, lovely pictures. Just grab another bag to put these away in. Okay, and make sure we put that one in with it as well. Okay. I do like unicorns. I like unicorns. And anything pretty and girly and pink. That are quite into these days. When I was younger, I was all quite tomboy and like blue and everything. But as I've got older, um, and I think since I got into card making and crafting more, um, I like pink and I love sparkles. So, and we'll pop that one into there as well. So we know that all three of those go with the same diamonds. So that's those three. So we have the three unicorns which are the dancing one the uh head looking like is it a portrait no not a portrait what do you and then the little face. i don't like the face i think that's really really pretty so that's those three so, yeah we like those definitely scored with those right the next one then that we've got let's have a look i don't know what's in the packet so We'll have to see what we've got. Again, I've not opened this yet. Sorry, I'll just have to open it this way so that you don't see the dress on the front. I should have crossed it out, really. Um, but there you are. Oh, this is a double one. Okay, so this one uh, is... Let me just grab my sheets and have a look. Oops. This is sold by... Pegon, which is P-E-G-O-N, would normally have been $7.99. I got it half price again with the coupon. So it cost me £3.99. So basically £2 a diamond painting. You just can't say no, can you? I don't give you what to. You've got to buy them at that price. Okay, and these have a ladybird thing. And I like ladybirds. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Nice and colourful. These look like the full drill. And I believe they're round, but we'll have a look. So my birthday haul has uh, been quite what, good. And uh, it's going to keep me very, very busy. Oh, this doesn't want to work. I won't be putting them back in these bags. So let's just get them out and see. Again, um, 30s by 40s. Oh, this is a very, very stiff canvas. Very stiff canvas. Oh, gosh. Basic tool kit again. Let's see if I can just roll this one back a little bit to so see if it'll lay a little bit flatter. Give it a little bit of a roll. Let's see. Okay, and then this one is ladybirds on daisies and thistles. And I just love this picture. Um, when the grandchildren were little, my mum's grandchildren, my nieces and nephews, um, she used to get little chocolate ladybirds and hide them uh, on the Christmas tree and the children always used to come and find them in amongst the uh, branches on the Christmas tree. So when I see ladybirds, I always think of them looking for those. And Scottish thistles, we love Scotland. So that again was uh, appropriate to us. And we used to have ornamental thistles that grew about six foot tall and the flowers would be sort of like that size, really, really big heads on the flowers on the thistles. Um, I know they are sort of from weeds, but most flowers are from weeds and they're just really, really pretty. Um, yeah, so oh, we've got a legend at both sides and it 
that is poured glue, which is great, nice and sticky there. 20 different colours. Let's check our size. I, say, I think, uh, again, with poured glue, you do tend to lose about five centimetres off the size. Yeah, that one's 25, which is nine and three quarter inches. By, let me have a look. Uh, 35, which is 13 and three quarter inches. So you're losing five centimetres for your border. But that's fine if you get a 30 by 40 frame. It's nice to just have um, a backing around the edges of it. But that looks good, clear drill feel. Look at that. Even on the uh, butterflies, there you can butterfly ladybirds, Liz, silly Liz. Uh, you can see the white writing on the black, really, really clear. I'm not going to have any problems with that one. I can't see that I will. And they're all capital letters, so that's even better. Let's have a look at these drills. There's the empty curves on the canvas. There's not any DMC codes on the actual packs and um, so that's your canvas number there and that does match what's on the drill so that's good. Okay, That's one of my favourite colours, that minty green, my off-white minty green colour. I think it's probably because I love mint, I love mint chocolate so that always reminds me of them. Now it's made me hungry. <laughs> So we've got a browny colour, a bluey grey, a nice blue, mid blue there, that one's a deep brown grey, like an ecru colour, a dark grey, oh lovely uh, aqua blue, a sandy colour, lovely red colour, is that uh, 666? No, that's 817, my eyes off today, that's a deep blue colour, a mustard colour, and then all your greens, look, we've got one, two, three, four greens, so that'll be good for the depth of shading on the leaves there. And we've got like a pale lilac colour, some more of that colour. Ooh, is that the same one? It is, so we've got two lots of number 18, so what's 18? 3, 7, 5, 6 is I, oh I see, so that's all the flowers. So we've got two packs of those for doing, it's mainly all the flowers there. And then just a paler aqua colour and then like a, a whiny colour there. So yeah, they all look reasonable. There's a few escapees, a few different ones in some of them. But let's look at the darker colours. I'm not seeing really any trash in there. They're looking pretty good. Okay, let's pop a label on this one. Nice, that bag's torn, but that's okay. So, oh, and I've just put my pen away. Silly me. So, this one, what's it called? I'm just going to put the reference number on it SD395. Okay, and this is a round, and it's a full round. So, I do like 30 by 40s. I can section them off and just sit on a night. And not think too much about them. I do have an awful lot of 30 by 40. They do seem to be my favourite size. I know some people like to do the huge ones. But I do tend to find that I do like my uh, smaller paintings. Let's peel them. Whether I'll actually put these on the wall or not. I don't know. Um, I'm going to put £2 because it was 3 99 for the two. Um but they will go in my portfolio and by keeping them in my portfolio it just means that if I don't want to change my pictures around and have a different picture up at some point then I can just do that can't I just swap them about so I can have ladybirds up if I want or I can have unicorns up if I want oh well I've always got Scotties up <laughs> Scottish terriers rule this house Figuratively and all over the world as well. And then little Millie Mill. So she's uh, had lots of people to see her today, so she's absolutely full of herself. So that's the drills for that one, all nicely bagged up. And this will go into, uh, I've got a, a folder, um, it's an A3 folder that fits all these in, and then it goes under the mattress to keep them flat. 
So that's picture number one of that one. So that's five paintings I've got so far from two deliveries, which is really good. And then let's have a look at this one. Again, this is another complimentary one. It's nice to get to sets of them. Okay. Oops, let's get this. Excuse me. I want to keep in the plastic, so just take those out. And this one is just a slightly different ladybird picture. Oh, that's nice. That's like a love heart look there. With two little ladybirds coming together to have a smooch. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Again, it says 30 by 40, but I would say it looks the same size, 25 by 35. Uh, this one's only got 19 colours on it. Again, a good clear drill feel. You can see there, look, that dark blue. Um, tends to be the darker colours I have most trouble with when I'm um, diamond painting. And all the green down at the bottom there. You can see all the uh, letters. It is all uh, capital letters again. So I do like these. They're a little bit stiffer canvas though. It doesn't really make much difference, but it just means uh, just a different one to work on. Okay. I don't stroke the darker, the uh, stiffer ones quite so much. When you get those velvet tight back ones off, so it can. came with uh, your wax, um, your bow tanned. Oh, this pen's got a three placer on it as well. So, little staff tool, get your basic tool. Look at these drills, looks like. Again, you've got the DMC codes on here, but not on the packets. And that's your code number there as well. So, where's number one right at this end? Yeah, so we're starting off with the black 6310 and then we've got two lots of grey there, yeah, two lots of number two. So where's the teas? Oh, this full. So this flower then is going to be grey colour and all this is grey. Mm, that's going to be strange. Okay, might change those out because I don't think I really want a grey flower. Unless it's just the highlights. We'll have a look at that when we do it. I don't want a grey on the flower. It needs to be a nice white colour. Uh, or even cream, but certainly I don't want grey on it. You've got your greens there. It's a deep grey. A stone colour. Nice red colour. Now that is 666. Yay! And then look at all the blues. Goodness me. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Where's the cream cream? So we've got six different blue colours there. And then like a, a winey maroony colour there. Two greens, are they the same colour? No, they're slightly different. 15, 16, uh, 8, 90 and 936. So, yeah. Oh no, they are, you can, I can see them now. They are slightly different colours. And then we've got a peach colour and another sort of pale browny beige colour. And like a, a wine or aubergine colour there. So yeah. Mm. Another two. So let's get another packet to put those in. It's a good job I've got a lot of packets because I've got an awful lot of diamond in. <laughs> okay, so this one is SD396. SD396. Gone store, pear gone store. Um, put two pound again, and it's round. Oh, my writing's appalling, but never mind. As long as I can read it, actually, I can't always read my own writing. Um, but yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> okay, pop that on there. In here and seal this with these. Oops. Oh, get in. Fighting back. Look, we don't want to go in another bag. So we've come all the way from China in a bag. We don't want to be in another bag. <laughs> oh, this one has got a sticky one there. Pop that there. There, I've got that one in there, so that's that one done. And 
I just have to put my power cord into my phone. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to put my uh, power cord into my phone. It was just uh, flashing up low battery, and I can't be doing with that running out of uh, battery while I'm recording. I'll be sat there talking to myself for no reason. <laughs> Okay, so that's two ladybirds, three unicorns and two ladybirds. Okay. Now this one again was half price, so all of these I've got for half price. So birthday shopping, Liz has got all of these for half price, which is fab. Okay, it would normally be £4.99 and I got it for £2.49. So, and I do like those... Uh, envelopes that they send them in. I tend to keep them and put them in uh, put some Christmas presents and Christmas things in for my uh, relatives that live in other countries. Um, everything gets reused in this house if possible. What does that label say? A Zing So 5D diamond painting. Okay. So is that the company then? Is it Zing? Yeah. Zing So. So Z-I-N-G-S-O. Uh, so it's from the Zingso store on Amazon. Let's have a look at this one. Ooh, I'm not sure whether this one will come out correctly or not. That's all lions and tigers. You can sort of make out. It is very dark. So what's this that we've got? Okay, oh, operating instructions. Okay, so it's telling us how to diamond paint there. So... Um, do not drink while operating heavy machinery. No, it doesn't say that on this. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, so that's just your little instruction sheet there. And we've got a toolkit, no multiplacer, wax bow, and a few little quick seal bags there. So, okay, enough to get started. So let's have a look at this. Again, it's 30 by 40. Um, I'll do a quick measure, but I'm sure it will be 25 by 35. It seems to be, yeah, 25, 35, yeah. So it does look quite clear, this drill field, I must admit. And we've got 28 colours and it is some letters and some symbols. So we've got a mixture there, but it does look a fairly clear drill field there. I say I think really it could do to be bigger. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's actually done. But uh, yeah, for uh, the money and for the amount I've got on this, it looks okay. Quite happy. This one's a very thick um, canvas, a stiff canvas again. Different type of drills, this is a different company. Got the DMC code on the canvas, uh, legend at both sides there. And it looks as though, yeah, we've got the DMC code on the drills as well. So that's your, yeah, we've got the uh, code there on the canvas and on the drills. So let's have a look at these, looking pretty. That's the blacks, the greys, can't really see, the rounds look pretty good, nice and sparkly. Got the pink and the grey, I'm actually 310 black, and a couple of greys there. And gosh, lots of drills. And we've got all your different blues for your background, That's, that must be the main background colour, yeah. Number 16, what's that one? 14, 15, 16 is 898, I think that says. Oh no, it's 803, sorry, that's just my eyesight. I'll have to tell you my eyesight's are calling. But we've got a lot of different blues there for shading to make the depth in the background. A few greens. Oh, look at that colour, that's nice, nice. Purpley colour. Dark brown, rusty colours there. And grey. And finally we've got a yellow, we've got a, like a very deep aquary blue with the grey, rust and red, green, peach and then your browns. So yeah, well I think I've done quite good with all these. Nice little haul. I will uh, 
not got any more labels out i don't think look i'll have to find a label to put this one in and i'm going to put these in a pouch because there's a few more diamonds so into that pouch there put that with that and i'll get the label out in a second once i've finished filming i'll have to go rummaging i didn't realize i had quite so many canvases so i've got lions and tigers we've got ladybirds quite a diverse selection and we've got unicorns <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at uh, my little birthday ordering haul. Um, if you have, if you can just give me a little like on that button down there. Uh, it just uh, lets me know that I'm on the right track with my videos and it gives me a little boost with YouTube as well. And if you press the subscribe button and the bell next to it, then you'll be notified when my next videos come up. And it may be one of these that I've completed, so you'll be able to see them when they're done. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.